Hi, Don with Air Guns of Arizona. Today we have the LCS SK19. We've had a lot of questions on how to tune and set up your guns. I'm gonna give you some do's and don'ts. Um, this gun basically is, a, it's toolless to set it up. So all you need is a little grip strength, the power adjuster, and a lot of pellets. There are only two knobs on this rifle that uh, adjust anything. One of them is the regulator. It requires a, uh, a cylindrical punch or something to put in the hole to, to turn it. It is very stiff and it increases pressure dramatically. The reg's already set at 140. It's optimized for this gun. You're not gonna get any more velocity out of it by increasing the reg pressure. All you're gonna do is possibly damage the regulator or just waste air. All the power is on the rear of the gun with the power adjuster. To increase the power, you turn it clockwise. If the gun's facing downrange, you're gonna turn the silver knob clockwise to increase the power this direction. The decrease is gonna be obviously counterclockwise. It's a fantastic gun, very reliable, but it does require pressure to operate. I recommend filling it to 250 bar. Generally, all the guns are set up at 140 bar on the regulator. If you go any higher than 140 bar, you're gonna be losing shot count, and it's not necessary because it's just little, literally wasting air going out the barrel. They're optimized the way they come from the factory, and all the power is in the power adjuster in the back. So whether this is your first air gun, you're a lucky dog, or you've been around air gunning for a while, we're just gonna talk about pressure real quick. We have 250 bar in an air cylinder. The air cylinder goes into the main body of the rifle through a regulator. The regulator maintains 140 bar on this particular rifle. That air pressure is consistent from where the regulator is to where it functions in the back of the receiver. Your barrel is an X distance long. So if you look at things in the proper perspective, you can change with the power adjuster from 600 feet a second in this gun to 1,000 by changing basically the orifice size of the predetermined pressure, which is 140 bar in here. If you were to increase the reg pressure, say to 160, you only have a given barrel length to drive a pellet at a velocity that's achievable in that length of barrel. So if you turned up the, the pressure on the regulator, say 160 bar, you're gonna find that you might uh, increase the velocity 10 feet a second, but what you're really doing is wasting a lot of air and shot, and shot count. So that being said, the gun is set up, it's optimized at 140 bar. The only adjustment you need to make is on the power adjuster. You obviously are the, are the chooser of that in the fact that if you decide what weight uh, pellet you wanna shoot and the velocity, you can go for maximum uh, energy or velocity, or you can tune it for the maximum shot count. And it's all done with a power adjuster. It's very easy in the rear of the gun. And now I always recommend shooting the gun over a chronograph while you're tuning it so you know where you're at. You don't wanna turn it down too low so the gun does not function. And meanwhile, it shoots fast. You can go through air quickly. Keep an eye on the main bottle pressure and try not to let it drop below your reg pressure at 140. So. Fill your gun to 250 bar, and then go ahead and you lift the loading gate lever. We've had people say, well, my loading gate lever will flip all the way up. Well, there's not enough pressure in the gun. It needs pressure because it's actually pressure actuated. There's a, a small piston that drives the index arm that rotates the magazine. And uh, without pressure, the gun doesn't function right. So it's very important not to shoot the gun under pressure because it requires a pressure to make it function. If you do that, you can lodge a pellet into the magazine, the magazine stops rotating, and then you're there and you start getting really disgusted because you have to take gun, the gun all the, all the way apart. Generally, you have to send it in. So one of the nice features about this gun is we have a 480cc bottle that comes with it. There's an ex accessory bottle that's 580ccs. The 480cc bottle will yield about 70 shots with the tune I put in it. 
and with a larger bottle you get about 90 shots. So that being said, uh, the gun I own is personally is an SK-19 in 25 caliber and I set it up to shoot King Heavies at 900 feet a second. So like I said, the reg set at 140, I load the King Heavies in it. Now you can get King Heavies going, I've seen them as high as 970 feet a second. Of course, your shot count is gonna go down. But I set my gun up at 900 with those. Then when I load Kings in it, it shoots them at a thousand. It actually shoots them very well at a thousand. And uh, I get about 90 shots out of the big bottle. So semi-auto versus full auto, semi-automatic, you're gonna get more shots. Uh, the full auto, it just uses a little bit more air to cycle the gun. The shot count's not quite as high. So that being said, um, regulators, like I said, it, it can be adjusted, but if you adjust it, you're just, you're just wasting air. So there's really no sense in it. All your power is right here. The triggers are non-adjustable in the gun. They need also air pressure. That helps them cycle as well. It's all functioning inside the receiver in the rear. The power adjuster, you can, you, you can feel click detents in the power adjuster when you turn it. And you can do that while you're shooting in between shots. If you're sitting there looking at the chronograph, you fire a shot, it's going 875, you give it a click, it's going 895, and you shoot a couple of them, and it's like, well, it's hovering right at 900, right where I want it. I just leave it alone. If you're interested in increasing power, say you're gonna go on the, the killer rabbit hunt, the kamikaze rabbit hunt, and you need the most power you can get out of your gun, sit there and count up one, two, three, till you get the maximum velocity so that you know you can back it off, say eight clicks and be at 900 feet a second and go up eight clicks higher and be at 960 feet a second with the same pellet. You can put some kind of reference with a little arrow that points straight. You guys will figure it out, but it's not hard. All the power is available with a power adjuster in the back of the gun, there's no sense at all in adjusting a regulator. Like I said, all you can end up doing is damaging it, and the last thing you want is your pellet gun back in the shop. When turning a power, you're backing your power adjuster off. You can back the power adjuster off to the point where your gun stops functioning. And be careful when you're shooting your gun that you don't shoot it below pressure, because it can do the same thing. And when it stops functioning properly, the hammer's not coming forward to push the pellet through the mag, the air, release the air through the magazine. And if that happens and it partially goes out the front of the magazine because the pressure's low, either you backed it off too far or you've shot it low on pressure, then you create a jam and uh, it creates a big issue because they're hard to, you have to take the gun apart to fix it. Um, I've shot the gun just for your awareness as low as it's, 350 feet a second and the gun has still cycled but it won't cycle long at that velocity because they drop quick. But I have seen them shoot pellets at 350 and still cycle the gun. I recommend not getting below probably 600 feet a second with pellets to ensure that the gun always functions because the last thing I need to do is work on your gun and then you don't get to shoot it because I haven't get to play with it. Other than that, it's a great reliable gun. It's easy to tune. Um, 22s and 25s are, uh, they're really powerhouses and they shoot very well and they're a heck of a lot of fun to shoot. Um, I've shot some pretty phenomenal groups at 50 yards shooting full auto with them actually, but uh, it's just an old experiment and having a good time. Go out, wear out some aluminum cans and enjoy yourselves. Mm -hmm.